love laughing at stories I read in uh, online or in print or on television or wherever I see or read them where people make these grand predictions. I don't think you can, in this digital technology business, you can't predict more than two years out. And I'm not even sure you're right about two years if you try to predict. So uh, I've studiously stayed away from that in my columns. Um, you got to remember that we're sitting here, it's the year 2007. I don't know when people will be seeing this. Presumably this will somewhere be on some archive online forever, but it's the year 2007. The personal computer itself, the mass market personal computer that a normal person who is not a techie or an engineer could actually use is only 30 years old. That's it. It's 30 years old. The online service that is the predecessor to the web and, and, e and consumer email, not email for a bunch of scientists or executives in a company, but wide consumer email are probably not even 20 years old. Uh, or maybe they're just about 20 years old. Um, instant messaging, same thing. So, I mean, when I first wrote about AOL, I wrote the first article in a national newspaper about AOL. It was 1992, I believe they had 200 employees and 200,000 members. That was 1992, that was 15 years ago. So if you're 25, 15 years sounds like a long time, but it really is not a long time. And so uh, all of this is just very new. The internet, the World Wide Web, is about 10 or 11 years old in terms of uh, really any significant number of people using it. I mean, the internet itself is much older, of course, but it was only used by a very small group of scientists and government people for many, many, many years. So uh, we're just in the first or second inning of this digital revolution, and we don't really know where it's going to take us. <laughs>